I get a lot of questions on how to tenderize meat when cooking. Today, I'll be showing you how you can tenderize your meat in a matter of 10 minutes or even less. The trick here is owning a pressure cooker because it saves time and money. There are two types of pressure cookers. There is a manual pressure cooker and an instant pressure cooker. I own a manual pressure cooker and it's very easy to use my pressure cooker. So I'll be showing you different parts of a pressure cooker. For example, this is a pressure regulator. It helps release the pressure from the pot. And over here, I have a small knob, which is called the pressure valve. It helps to hold in the pressure in the pot while the meat is cooking. On the inside, there is a rubber band, which helps the pressure not to escape by sealing the pot completely. So those are the few parts of a pressure cooker. To my pressure cooker, I'm going to be adding in 500 grams of chopped beef. Add in a stock cube and one cup water. The beef stock cube is going to add in some flavor to the beef while boiling. And if you don't have a stock cube, you can add in seasoning cubes or even salt. And the beef will be very flavorful once it's done. Now, to secure the pot, you're going to pick your lid, place on top. Add pressure on the lid and move to the left so that you can lock the lid. Then over high flame, you're going to boil your meat for around three to four whistles. Also, if you're planning on buying a pressure cooker, read the instructions before using because you don't want any accidents. So I'll be waiting for three whistles and then the beef is going to be very tender and soft so that I can make some beef stew. After three whistles, you're going to put out the flames and wait for five minutes so that the beef can continue cooking because there are lots of pressure in the pot. After five minutes, you're going to manually release the pressure from the cooker before opening. You can use a spatula and lift the pressure regulator up so that you can release the excess pressure in the pot before opening. I usually use a spatula because I don't want the steam to burn my fingers. So a spatula is very much secure. Once you've made sure there is no pressure in the pot, you're going to open. This is how my beef is looking like and I have some extra beef stock. The beef is very soft, tender and very flavorful because we used a stock cube to boil the meat. So as I said, I'm going to be making a beef stew from my meat and it's going to be very delicious. So that is a very nice way that you can tenderize your beef in a matter of around five to 10 minutes. And everyone is going to enjoy because the beef is tender, soft, and very flavorful. Catch you on my next episode. And I hope you'll be investing in a pressure cooker so that you can save up some time and money.